Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. It's Stix here and today guys we're going to be doing a bunch of awesome stuff. And I say that not even knowing what we're going to be doing because um, everything in this mod pack is just fantastic. But first of all guys, last episode I accidentally, well I, I mean I meant to do it but then realized I probably do, don't need it. But I've unlocked the Tinker's Construct, but I've actually had a thought. It's actually going to be a lot easier to use that than all these things. So what I'm going to do is get that stuff together. So let's have a look in here, guys. Let's have a look when this finally loads. The first time you open these, when you open this game, it takes a while to load. Um, anyways, what am I trying to do, guys? We want to make the smeltery stuff. So we want to make the smeltery controller, which means we need these seared bricks. And how can we get these seared bricks? We can just make grout. Let's make a bunch of this. Let's make, uh, let's make, yeah, let's make two stacks of that. Um, we'll take them up to the smelter thingy up here because it's 10 times faster, guys. The smelting factory, there we go. Stick that in. Okay, we can get a bunch of those bricks and we can start crafting that stuff. So we should have enough to start most of this now. Okay, very cool. Um, right, what we need to do is open an actual crafting table. That would help, wouldn't it? So we need uh, we need to make one of these things to start off with. So we need a controller. Um, put those in there. Uh, I think we just need one controller for now. And then we can... Uh, we need to make the actual blocks. We need to make a tank. So let's make one of them. We need to make... Uh, we need to make a casting basin. We need to make a casting table. We need to make all the same things we made for the other one. We need a couple of drains. Actually, we probably need quite a few drains. Let's make six drains when we have enough of this stuff. There we go. And we might actually need to make more of this stuff. So let's find out. Hang on a second. Another three of these. So we got three drains. What else do we need? Um, go ahead with you. We got that. We'll need some faucets. So we'll need six of those as well to go with the drains and I think then we just need to make the seared bricks. So whatever's left to make into these. So there's only 13. Yeah, we're going to need some more grout for sure. So let's just grab some of that. Make some more. Oh, that's actually better. Is it using the same amount of sand and gravel? I'm using less clay though, isn't it? Oh. You need the red sand. Do you need the red sand? Gravel. Oh, we've run out of gravel, guys. We're out of gravel. That's... That's disappointing. I'm not really sure how to get gravel. I think actually we should be we should be able to craft it right here, right? Yeah. Okay, never mind. We can get a lot more gravel back. Let's make a couple of stacks of that. And then make another stack of this. Oh, we've run out of clay now as well. But luckily we can just craft most of this stuff. So there we go. Should be able to craft a bunch of that. Very good, very good. And now we can make the grout. Okay, anyways, guys. So we should be getting on with this now. I'm going to get this set up, and uh, I will show you. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this all before. But now we can make... Uh, we don't have to use this machine over here, and we don't have to use this. And it should be faster as well. I might make... Um, we'll make it quite large, because then it goes really quickly. So that'll be fantastic. So guys, I'm not really sure where to put this thing, because... This is all going to get changed very soon. It's all going to get moved. Like, all of this stuff will get moved. In fact, maybe I'll keep this power system over here on its own little floating island or something. But all of these things are going to change, and I don't want to build it up here. Even though we built this to build stuff on, I haven't really had a chance to build anything up here yet. Uh, I kind of want the smeltery somewhere I can use it. Oh, we're going to run out of flying if we keep doing stuff like this. Let's see if there's any more of those chorus fruits in here. I don't like it being this low. Let's eat another seven of those. And luckily we have our gluttony charm and we can just instantly eat all of these. There we go. And we're back up to 22 minutes. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. I'm not sure where to build this thing. So for now, I'm just going to build it right out here. We're just going to build it right in front of this thing. Um, actually, this can all be moved, but I no, I want Matt Damon. We've got to keep Matt Damon. He is, he is most important. I'm pretty sure if I replace this, I won't have Matt Damon. It'll take me forever to get him back i'm sure uh so let's just place it out here we can get rid of all this stuff this stuff is not necessary get rid of all this okay so we can probably just start building this right here on the edge so let's make this quite large let's make it five wide i think five wide five by five so there'll be one two three four five 
So this is going to use quite a lot of these bricks already. I'm going to have to make more um, already, which is just crazy. Okay, so what we can do is we can put the controller here, because that's where we want it, right out the front. And then we'll probably have the drains going along the side. So uh, that does that does not go there. Uh, what else do we need? We need the tanks. So maybe we'll put a tank here, and we should make another tank. And we'll put the other tank on this side, and we'll get them both filled with lava from up there. Um, and then the rest will wrap around like this. Uh, that will go there. But I think then we'll have the three... We'll have the three drains here, here, and here. Um, I believe those are facing the wrong way. Yes, I've, I've done that completely wrong, but we need to make sure we pick these back up. All right, uh, we're missing one. There we go. All right, let's place these the right way around now. So they're facing into the tank. And then we can bring this around to the back. We just need to close in. As soon as we complete one of these layers here, it will make it. It's like a multi-block structure. So um, as long as we take this out and then have the drains on this side, we're going to be able to make one layer of this thing anyway. So that's pretty cool. And then there and then there. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, now we're really stuck. And let's bring this around to here and here. And now we just need one more tank. So give me half a second. Um, we should have enough stuff to make a tank. Let's just go up here and make sure we collected all of these. Yeah, we did. Okay. We're going to need to make a lot more of this grout. So let's just go crazy with the grout, I think. Let's make another couple of stacks of that. Uh, one, two. Very good. Okay, guys, so here we go. We can place this on here, and now this should be a full, complete structure. There we go. We can click on this. It's got lots of space in there for different items. Uh, we've got no lava in there, so we need to get two GPSs. And there should be quite a few in here that have other coordinates on them, but we'll just remap them to this, to this and this one. So let's do that. I want to put one, oops, sorry, one here, and then we want to use the other one and put that here. So they should both be done now. We can place them in here. Place you in there. Okay, you have to physically click these in for some reason. But there we go. Okay, that seems to be keeping up. And I just want to check that it's keeping up with all of these as well. Yes, it appears to be, guys. So the best type of cabling is no cabling at all. Just use a wireless fluid transfer node. And there we go, these have lava in them now as well. So we can smelt whatever we want in here. We can also combine things, because I wanted to make some enderium. That is what I uh, originally had planned, um, ev ev eventually. Right, we got a lot of stuff in our inventory to get rid of. Um, get rid of all these. Um, we're gonna make this bigger in a second, but I just wanna get started here. So we need to make ourselves a bit of a platform out here so we can walk around. And then we're gonna have these six things go into uh, we need to make some more of this stuff. Smeltery. We need some more tables, don't we? So I need five more tables. Okay, so we've run out again. But th that's all right. We're, we're, we're making it. We're making it. There's a bunch up here. This should hope that's not going to be enough. I'm going to make lots of stacks of grout now. I'm going to make four stacks. So there we go. One, two, three, four. Now let's place all those in. Okay. That should be going that should be going good pull all of those out and we should be able to make a couple more of these tables now one two so there should already be one in the system as well casting and here we go guys here it is so what we've got here is the two tanks and we've got this here and we've got the redstone here so we can turn this on now and that should go on that is pretty much a good timer for ingots i think so let's put all of this iron into this chest it should get taken into here and it's all filling up in there as you can see and that's awesome it's going to now smelt all of that down pretty quickly i presume uh yeah let's turn this all the way up to 64 and yeah that should smelt all of that guys and we can also combine stuff in here to make different things but once that's smelted down it should yeah this should be a lot quicker and a lot better and we can obviously put more of these like we can put one right here if we want with another casting table and we've got all of these drains on the side for like when we do massive ones like all of this iron is quite a big one so we could get this set up so that it's doing a lot but yeah there we go guys and we also have it on this side if we want it to make a full block there so this is almost gone. It's going to fill this up. Here we go. Ready. Okay, this can hold a thousand ingots. So that's that's pretty damn awesome. 
There we go. It's all turning into the ingots now, and it should start coming through here. And I don't know if this cable works on the side or not, but we'll soon find out. There we go. It works into this chest that I can't open. That's very annoying. I need to take that side out, I thought. I didn't think that through, guys. Oh, now it's gone over there. Let me pick up my one my one chest and block and piece of iron. But anyway, there you go, guys. The iron is rolling in now. We could also turn this one on for this one because it's a big a a big amount of stuff coming out here. Is this on? Yes, it just doesn't go very often. I don't know what the timings are, so I just guessed. But I think it's going to be longer than what I thought because it's going to go again in a second before it's even filled up. Yes, but now it is full. No, it's not quite full. Oh, because it turned off. Okay. Definitely not right. But anyways, guys, now we've got a big one of these set up. We can combine stuff. We can get rid of this rubbish. This rubbish can can go away now. Okay, that is not the right tool. And yeah, okay, cool. So now that should make life a lot easier on those sorts of things. Let's make sure we pick everything up from here, put it away, and we can move on now, guys. Okay, guys, we've started on the gold now. All the iron is done. We should have gold floating in here anytime soon. There we go. It should be pouring out. That's fantastic. We should get gold in here any second, and this will eventually go. It does go, guys, I promise. It has to be set so that it only goes after it's finished making this. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to set up a whole bunch of these later on um, so that we can get this going automatically when we have to do really large batches of things. But to be honest, it's going it's going pretty fast as it just is making blocks and things. So I'm going to leave that for now. Um, but guys, I have been getting a little worried. I've been looking at the uh, age of all things, oh my god, lol, which is obviously the best category name ever. And there are some things in here that look very hard. And some things that take a while. So I've started on these two. They're not going that fast. And um, this is probably going to take quite a while. But we can take all of the stuff out of the black hole unit and put it into here once we're done. Because that isn't actually that difficult. Uh, we'll just put a cobblestone folder in there and then put all the cobblestone from the uh, the thing once we're finished. So that's easy. Um, what I was looking at, guys, is we need to make a cookie singularity. Which is ridiculous. We need to make a donut singularity, an ultimate singularity, and a bacon singular singularity, which is just, uh, it's just silly. Uh, we need to find a cookie jar with cookies and right click it. So uh, yeah, some of these are uh, quite ridiculous. So I want to start on them now so they can sit in the background and work. So I planted my cookie sapling, so we should be getting cookie stuff in here now. So yeah, we've got nine cookies, we're getting the cookie resin, and I think we can... We can make cookies by casting them. So we need a pan cast, and then we can um, obviously uh, get the liquid cookie dough, which we make cookie amber like that. Okay, so yeah, we can do that, guys. And a cookie jar. Let's just make one because we need to fill this. I don't know how much this holds, though. Like, how many cookies does this hold? That's the real question. That's not that many cookies. That is actually not that many cookies. Is that just 64 per one of these? If it is, then that's really easy. We can we can fill that we can fill that very easy. Uh, can we pick this up somehow? There's got to be a better way than just pickaxing it. How slow this is! I've got the fastest pick in the world. Oh, I'm gonna break other things if I pick it that way. It just it'll instantly break something else behind it. There we go. Oh, it drops all the cookies. Okay, so let's put this cookie jar somewhere very safe, like right here, and then let's just see if it's only 64 per one of these. And yeah, that'll that'll be easy to do. Okay, so that's good. This is all nonsense. This stuff's going to be quite difficult. Uh, that's just that. Okay, obtain... Let's look at this one. A zip disk. Obtain one of them storage cells. Okay, that's a very big number. Um, 16,384. Let's have a look. So let's just type that in. 16,384, uh, did I say? Yes, I got it right. Okay, so we want the storage cell. Is that what we want to make? So how do we make this? 16k me storage. Mm, I don't think that's right. That is that is not right, guys. That's not right at all. Um, what what is it called? Zip disk storage cell. Oh, maybe it is that. Storage cell, 16k me storage cell. Okay, I'm just going to type in storage cell for now. Storage cell. So that is all of these. So that might be this one. Uh, Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> okay, how do we make this? We need one of these. We need. Okay, this stuff is all easy. 
what is this though? Um, okay, so we need one of them, which is one of them, which is one of them, which is okay. I see. So we're gonna have to do a lot of setup, but I don't actually think that will be that difficult, to be honest, guys. I think we will get that done. So that's all right. Uh, quantum compressor to create singularities. You know what? Let's try and make a quantum. What? Wait, I forgot what it's called already. A quantum compressor. Okay. I think we're gonna need a lot of stuff for this. Compressor, this thing here. Oh, okay, interesting. Black iron slate, we can't make any of this stuff. Okay, this is all gonna take stuff we don't have, but how do we make that? Oh, we just gotta dye iron black. I mean, how many ink sacks do I have? One, brilliant guys, brilliant. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, get another way of getting that. Yeah, there is no other way. Apart from doing pulverized coal. Okay, I'm gonna pulverize some coal, guys, because that's all we can do here. Uh, let's, let's actually craft as much coal as we can here. Um, we should be able to do it this way. Should be able to craft a lot, actually, hopefully. Okay, not that much, but it's some. Let's take 64 and crush that up. That'll give us some of that iron that we need. Take it over here to the crusher, which should almost instantly crush this. Because this machine is amazing. Have we upgraded this one? Four of eight and four of four muff. Oh, there's no energy upgrades on this one. Okay, we probably need to do that. But I think our power is... Oh, yeah, we've filled our power network now, guys. Uh, that's not how we check. Yeah, we've filled our power network. 512 million RF. Okay, we're going to be absolutely fine on power by the looks of it. Um, let's get some speed upgrades for the mechanism thing here, guys. Let's get this all sped up. Speed upgrades... Um, which are the mechanism ones again? These ones. So one, two, three, four, I think, of those. I mean, then we need some energy upgrades because the energy upgrades are actually quite good. But uh, looking at our power, we don't really need them anymore. But I, I wanna, I don't wanna just needlessly use power for no reason at all. Um, I'm, I am blind. There we go. All right, let's make one, two. We need eight of these, but we're not gonna have enough of those things. So that will have to do. Four in there, so that should upgrade the speed all the way to the top. Get our pulverized coal out of here. And then now it's, that's finished, now put the energy upgrades in. Which we'll, yeah, we'll need another two in there later on. But still, that, that's upgraded fully now on the speed. So that's good. What were we doing, guys? We need to make this with iron, don't we? So let's get some iron. Put this into the system. There we go. We got 4,000 iron now, so that's good. Wait. There was more pulverized coal already in there. Oh, okay, let's let's just leave it at that for now. So, what do we need to make, guys? A compressor again. To make the quantum compressor. So, we've got these. How do we make this? We make one of those. And to make this, we do this. Nope, we need... We need some glass. Any type of glass? Oh, guys. Okay, let me get some stuff together. And we can get this done. Okay, so we should have it now. Let's get the quantum compressor. There we go. That is done. Uh, I presume this thing needs a bunch of power. So let's place it up in the power area where all our ridiculous machines go. Um, right, so we can place... Let's place it right here. It'll connect up to that thing there and get power. Okay, full of power. Cool. Quantum compressor. Now let's have a look, guys. We want to make a cookie singularity. Which, it, I mean, why on earth would you need that? So the ultimate catalyst and a cookie. So I think you need 10,000 cookies to make this. By the looks of it. And we need an ultimate catalyst, which I've just made a couple of. And do they change color or is that always green? Am I going crazy, guys? I think I'm going crazy. Oh, okay. No, these ones are different. All right. So that is uh, that is ridiculous. We need a lot of cookies, so I might have to get some uh, cookies saplings going, a lot more of those going. Uh, let's have a look in here. We've got the gold going, guys. How much have we got? Okay, it's not been very long. That's that's a lot of gold and things. Okay, cool. I am loving all the new setup, guys. It's Everything is going great. Right, what else do we need? So that is... So if we were to make a donut singularity, for instance, is that a thousand items as well? Donut singularity. Yeah, 10,000 items. Okay, um, let's get the donut saplings and stuff going. And also there's a bacon one and an ultimate one. Let's see what the ultimate one is because I think this is a bit of a joke. We've, we've used ultimate singularities before. Um, 
Okay, so it's all of them. Bacon, uranium, invar. Yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's going to be very fun. Okay, well, at least we can get the achievement with the donut singularity and then use it to get these other ones. But I think, guys, in order to get that, we are going to need to get this stuff. So we need 50 prestige points. We could probably get that at this stage pretty easily. Um, I would just have to leave the computer for a long time to get that. But I might just do it overnight or something, because I think we can get a lot of power in this thing. So, yeah, that'll that'll work out. But 50, and that's just to get that part. There's another one, isn't there? This is 20 prestige points. Um, so, yeah. Um, seed, no evil. Um, is there another way to get mass amounts of items um, like that? I am I am not sure. But let's get our bacon our bacon sapling going because we do have it we have all the saplings so we got a, a bacon sapling um and what was the other one the donut sapling we need that going as well so what i'm going to do guys is set these up and um make some files for them for all the stuff that comes through with them and then i will be right back let's chuck them down here in our soil uh, i think a good idea would be maybe to start upgrading this stuff and getting all of the stuff from here because this this is growth rate of a thousand and a drop rate of three hundred and fifty percent. So, I mean, if we got to here, that's doubling the drop rates of everything here. So yeah, it might be might be quite good, and everything grows quicker as well. So, yeah, that could be a good idea. There's nothing in there, very good, and a donut sapling in there. Uh, we've got our cookie one going on here. So, okay, guys, we're gonna have to wait on that. Um, I don't think I showed you guys this, but we have all of these going into here which is going a lot faster than it was it's still way too slow i'm not really sure what to do with this to be honest i mean this seems like the fastest way to get items but i, I don't know we have all of these with and they're just they're putting stuff into here as well so i mean the number here is just ridiculous i think it's the same number as that uh so yeah 2000 uh what what, what comes up to billion guys trillion isn't it all right so two trillion 147 million no it's two billion isn't it okay anyways that's a, that's a lot of water but we're getting close to that i mean well no we're not getting close to that but it's um it's going a lot faster than this is going so i'm a little worried about that i don't really know what to do there i'm not sure if there's a faster way these pipes are just rubbish they're too slow so i have to get like a million item um nodes going into it because that's going as fast as it can go as well if you put two um if you put two gps's in one of those item transfer nodes it just drains it straight away so it's not it's not really doing anything extra so yeah we'll have to uh figure out something for that but right let's get on with the singularities thing uh well we can't actually do much can we um i'm getting the string to stop these vines growing everywhere i've done it to a few of them but yeah okay let's have a look what else is in here guys we've done the cookies uh, well, they haven't, but we've we've got that underway. Craft an octuple compressed netherrack block because why not? Yes, okay, why not? Um, craft an craft an octuple compressed sugarcane block. Oh dear. Let's um let's let's see. We might have to start growing a lot of sugarcane. Compressed sugarcane. Where's the octuple one? Compressed. So this is compressed. It's just sugarcane like that, and then double compressed is the oh my goodness this is octuple compressed sugarcane which sip tuffle there's nine of those okay we might have to set up a rather large uh way to do that let's change all of this i mean uh, i don't know maybe we should set up a sugarcane farm i need to uh come up here and get some more carrots soon as well because i'm running out of food i'm gonna have to put some gold around some more carrots we could probably make better food, but you know, the carrots are good enough for me. They're, they're, they're good enough. All right, maybe we should set up a little farm here with the snad, maybe, and the... Maybe this thing, the harvester. This thing goes quite good. We've got a lot of power now, so we can probably do that. Does the harvester work on sugarcane? That is the real question. Okay, guys, what is this ridiculousness? Right, we've got these here going crazy there on uh it, it the ticks for one duration and it goes every two ticks so this thing is just going crazy we could put one and one and that just goes on and off like as quick as possible but as you guys will see this is quick enough so what happens guys is this will harvest everything above this level so it will break it at this level and harvest them all 
and it will pick up the things it harvests directly so that one piece there but it doesn't pick up the rest so what i've got here is an item collector this thing should collect it all up these both transfer into this first auto crafter and now all these crafters need powering and so does the harvester but that item collector does not um right so these have all got power through here and what happens is these come in here and they craft these into the compressed and then they come along out of here through the item extraction cable into here and these craft up into the compressed sugar cane into the double compressed and then underneath we will go down and see that we pull out from here and go into here and you take the double and you make whatever comes after that some ridiculous thing this triple compressed and then for now we've just got it going in here because that's going to take a while but i think i'm going to start this going and then i'm going to set the rest of this up so we've got to get this all the way to octuple so yeah we might we might go around the corner here but this thing is crazy let me let me turn this on you, you guys are going to want to see this this mess you ready here, here we go it, it's going to go crazy once it finally finishes doing the job there we go and it's all gone and look how fast this grows back it's it's nuts and hopefully this can keep up with getting rid of it and it looks like it can it looks like all the crafters and everything are doing exactly what we want them to do okay so let's come along and see if we've got any of these yet uh no okay so we have eight of these we need one more triple so that i can turn it so i can tell it what to make so i'm going to turn this off for now uh we should get another one of these through. we just need a bit more coming through the system there we go so we got nine of these now and we can make this make sure you turn these off up here to requires redstone before because otherwise it'll start crafting them back into it as you're as you're putting them in here uh now that that's like that you can turn it on and it's gonna get them and put them in here so that it is a bit laggy guys so we're gonna have to be careful about that but it does seem to be doing what it needs to do and i don't think it's gonna take it it'll, it'll take a while but it won't take too long to get to the octuple one i think that's what we need we're going to, have to do the same thing with the nether rack, but I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Um, there's, I mean, I guess there's a way, but yeah, this is this is a bit crazy, and we don't need the sugar cane for absolutely anything. But uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot of uh, sugar cane to make one thing. So what I'm going to do, guys, is wrap this around the corner probably, and finish this up off until we get a chest at the end that the octuple will go into. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long because um we, we we don't want this laggy machine going forever okay cool let me set up the rest of this guys and we should be done this this is just crazy Alrighty, guys it's a little silly but this farm is going crazy i made it a little bit bigger than before but as you can see we've got all the crafters going along now so this is going to take a very very long time we have only got three quadruple compressed and we don't have anything else so i need nine of those before i can even tell this crafter what to do so yeah and it is very laggy so this thing is gonna have to be turned on and off so i'm gonna have to get a lever over here and uh yeah we're gonna have to be able to switch this off because if we are recording in here we're not going to be able to do this because it's just redonkulous but um yeah um i'm sure we can use this in a way uh so now let's turn on requires redstone and now if we turn on it will it will continue to work uh so we can probably like dupe these things with the with the power box and things so once we have like i don't know maybe some stuff over here i'll, I'll i mean we can only double stuff really so um yeah we'll have to see what happens but yeah guys this is all set up and that is all the time we have left in this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did guys please hit the like button and i'll see you guys on the next episode